there. Welcome back to Will Rogers State Historic Park and your interpreter, Callista Turner. Now I'm here with another segment of tips and tricks and I want to introduce you to honeybees. Now I'm standing outside a wild honeybee nest that I have found here on the property. And as you can see, they have taken up residence inside the bottom of a dead tree trunk. In the wild, they often will find little nooks and crannies all over. If you have an old house, as we often do, sometimes the honeybees also will take up residence in there. And while we like honeybees because they're pollinators, I wanna remind you that honeybees are not actually native to North America. They're actually from Europe and Africa, the first domesticated insect, and we now use them for our agricultural crops. And they do help pollinate here in California, many of the different plants um, that you see. Now, one of my big tips is to actually just leave them alone. What happens is a lot of people get really scared, they'll move very suddenly, and that may startle the bee. And worst thing that you can do is step injure or irritate a bee so that it stings you. See what happens is bees release a pheromone. That's kind of a, a scent that is released and it tells other bees, hey, you need to come here and defend me or hey, there's an enemy in this area and we need to all attack it. So anytime you end up killing one bee, you're basically alerting every other bee in the area that you are now an enemy. And sometimes that pheromone will actually get on you and then they will end up chasing you. So my tip and trick for everyone is leave the bees alone. If you have bees in your area, that's okay. If you have a big hive like this, maintain a safe distance. Don't irritate the bees, just leave them alone. It's a good policy to have when you're in state parks because remember, you're in their home, not in your own. So you have to live by their rules and be polite to them. So with that being said,